So a lot of people ask me pretty much on a daily in the comment section and multiple videos on the channel, Nick, what is your daily driving smartphone? Nick, what is your daily driving smartphone? Essentially, what is the phone that you use most of the time, every day? I see all these phones on the channel, but I want to know what you use because maybe I want to use that phone that you're using, Nick, and I do use a few phones here. Now, I don't have one specific favorite phone, and so I do use the Android operating system as well as iOS pretty consistently. Pretty much every single day, I use both Android and Apple. I do not pick sides here because, you know, I love smartphones. And what? Why do we got to fight here? This is all one big love here on this channel. So... Basically, I have the Galaxy S8, and this phone has been pretty much mind-blowing, and the phone I've been using for the most part for the past couple of weeks or weeks since I've got it, and, you know, I'm still trying to decide if it's going to take the place as the best smartphone I do have, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus in specific, and the reason why I really like this phone is because of the tall display. When you're running something like a YouTube channel or a blog or a business or anything like that online, or you're doing anything you know that's online work where you really rely on your gadgets for to get your work done, the ability to go ahead and multitask here for the Galaxy S8 Plus with this tall display is really productive, and I really do like this feature right here specifically on the Galaxy S8 Plus's tall display here. So I've really been enjoying this. Now, in terms of the AMOLED, I'm not blown away too much personally by the AMOLED display because I've seen it on the Note 5, I've seen it on the Galaxy S7, so I'm not so blown away with the AMOLED colors. I'm pretty used to this by now, but the edge panel I am blown away by. This is pretty Pretty innovative technology going around the side here of the Galaxy S8 Plus. Pretty innovative technology here for the S8 Plus. So the S8 Plus is definitely one of my Android daily drivers on a daily basis or something I use pretty consistently every day here. Now, in terms of Apple, yeah, you probably guessed it. It's the iPhone 7 Plus. So for, you know, pretty much my daily iPhone use, I do use the iPhone 7 Plus, and I thought when I got the 6S Plus that the iPhone 7 Plus, when I upgraded from the 6S Plus to the iPhone 7 Plus, that this wasn't going to be a huge upgrade, but the more you use it, it's such a sh subtle improvement here with the A10 CPU and 3 gigs of RAM, but it just seems to run better each and every day, and it's hard to go back to a 6S Plus, even though I felt like the 6S Plus was one of the best and fastest iPhones ever made. The iPhone 7 Plus is just a subtle improvement and it's felt the more you use it every day. So for those of you out there who were thinking that, you know, the 7 Plus is not that much better than the 6S Plus, day to day it actually does feel quite a bit better and the screen is definitely easier on the eyes with its P3 technology. Yes, it's not at the level of the Samsung Galaxy S8 Pluses with its 2K AMOLED, but definitely a really good display for iPhones here on the iPhone 7 Plus. And the reason why I really enjoy using the iPhone 7 Plus on a daily basis, because it's just basically a workhorse. It's simple, it gets the job done, all the apps are pretty polished. I can pretty much think of any app and it's here on the iPhone and it works well. Also, a lot of people that I message do have Apple's iMessage, most of the people in my family, as well as you know personal contacts, and FaceTime works well as well. So you know, having these applications that Apple creates that you can never find on Android, such as FaceTime, you know, the continuity features between your iPad, your iPhone, your Mac, they really kind of try to get you stuck in their system, but there's ways around that. And I use a lot of cloud services so I can use Android and Apple, such as Google services, Google Keep, Google Sheets, things like that. You can also use Microsoft services if you want to bounce between Android and Apple. So there's definitely one phone that I have to give an honorable mention to, and that's the LG G6. Now, sometimes I still do use the LG G6 as, you know, a daily driver here in the year of 2017. Now, the LG G6 is barely a month old, so definitely a very fresh smartphone. And one of the best values of the year, the LG G6 should not be slept on. Now, I know Samsung and Apple, they got everyone, you know, hyped on their, they got more marketing dollars. Samsung and Apple have got the money to brainwash people into believing that they have the best gadgets on the planet. LG's marketing budget is not quite as high and I don't work for LG, but I do want to help you guys 
get the best value out of your smartphone. And definitely do not sleep on the LG G6. This phone can be found on websites such as Swappa for under $500 and you're getting an experience that is actually quicker than the Galaxy S8 Plus and my personal experience here. So the Galaxy S8 Plus, definitely a great phone, but the LG G6 is actually a lot closer in performance and everyday use than you might think it is to the S8 Plus. Along with the wide angle camera, there is no dual lens setup here for the Galaxy S8, so you do have a nice wide angle camera. And you know what? When it comes to Android, I'm swapping between the S8 Plus and the LG G6 as my daily drivers, but for the past week, it's been pretty much the Galaxy S8 Plus and my iPhone 7 Plus as my daily drivers. So the story remains, Nick, what is your daily driver? And you could say, what are my daily drivers? Because I do not pick one side here. I use both of these phones right now as my daily drivers, the S8 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus with sometimes throwing in the LG G6 here. But for this video, basically these two right now. What are your daily drivers? Comment that down below. We would like to talk about that. Let's get into a chat about it. How do you feel? Do you feel like, oh, it's Apple all day or it's Samsung all day or it's LG all day? Is it Huawei all day? Is it another phone company like Motorola, for example? You got the Moto Z with the Moto Mods going or you got another, you know, unnamed brand that you don't really know too much, such as a blue phone or something along those lines, maybe a Lenovo phone. What do you got? What, do you, what is your daily driver? Let's talk about that. It's going to be a nice conversation down there in the comments. Anyway, that's pretty much what I use. Um, it was the Note 5 for me before. The Galaxy Note 5 was my daily driver, along with the iPhone 6S Plus. But those phones are kind of dated now, you know, in comparison to these new ones that we picked up here for the channel. So these are the current ones. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this. Stay with me. We got plenty more content coming your way. I will catch you all in the next one. Be sure to be well and peace.